my fingers at? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want. Well, that's going to take it out. It's the pure vanilla. That's the way it comes. Hold on, give me that second. There we go. And the inferior. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm just making sure I have you cut yours. This should be deeper. So you can actually put your finger so you to identify which one is. Huh? Like you can actually put your finger to identify which one is. Yeah, do the follow through. See that? You need to know from the heart is in the power point? Yeah. On the handout? Uh huh. Okay, so this one should be. Oh, that's easy. You start there. Yeah, that's your. Okay, so there's your valve. That's your tricuspid valve. So this right here is going to be for your atrium. So you're basically, you're kind of looking to see like where things are going to kind of flow through. That should be your atrium, and this one should be for your ventricle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's just how you cut it. It was a little hard to see. Okay. So do you see where my fingers are kind of going through? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have our we have our atrium and we have our ventricle down here, which I'm kind of going up through. So this one's a little bit deeper. So you're looking for your vena cava, right? So your vena cava is going to go through here into the right uh -huh, atrium. It's going to pass through which valve? Tricuspid. You see that in there? Where is it? Oh, this one? Yeah, you should, should be able to see the actual valve there. Let's see, it, 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 it's this. This is the, the valve. Oh, okay. It's this flap. Do you guys see that okay. flap? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It kind of looks like a, yeah, it's that flap there. And then you're going to go into the right ventricle and out through what? The pulmonary what? Semilunar. Semilunar. Uh-huh, valve. And then out through the pulmonary artery. Mm -hmm. Go in to the lungs. Come back. Cause it just got oxygenated. Now, what's it going to come in through? Mm-hmm. So this is your aorta. That's your aorta. Okay, so this one. Right here is. Okay. What do you want? Got it. Sit right here. Okay. Okay. So in through the pulmonary vein. Into the right, kind of the right side, the left atrium, pass through the what valve? Bicuspid. Bicuspid, also called the mitral. Okay? It's going to be pulled shut by what? What are these cords called? What are these cords called? Cordae tendinae. This basically means heart strings. So as the blood flows into here, you're going to have. This is going to relax. You're going to take the blood. It's then going to contract, push blood through that bicuspid valve, and it's then going to pull it shut using the chordae tendinae, which are attached to the papillary muscle. Okay? Oh, so this is the papillary Yeah, that's the papillary muscle, and it's big. It's going to pull it through. Then the blood's going to flow into what? The left ventricle. And then it's going to go out through. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good. And the aorta is big. You can see it. You can really stick your finger. Yeah, you can stick your finger through all of them. Huh? Yeah, your aorta is your largest artery. Okay. Now, let's talk a little bit more. So we know that we have these ridges, right, inside. Okay. So in your ventricles, they're going to be called your trabeculae carnae. In the atrium, they're going to be called the pectinate muscles. Okay? And you can see it. We're talking about the ridges. So here, these are the trabeculae carnae. See these ridges here? Mm -hmm. Trabeculae carnae. Okay. Uh huh. These are just ridges. Yep, they make it up. And you can follow it out. Like I said, take your finger. But if it's in the atrium, it's called what? Pectinate. pectinate. Okay? Okay. All right. So, what are your valves? We have the. Uh, the so we have pulmonary. Mm -hmm. So show me where they're at. Okay. So um, which one? <laughs> talk me through. Talk me how. Talk me through how the blood flows to the heart. Show me. Okay. You. So the blood gets um, through here. So let's go. Five.